everybody. I'm super, super, super pumped about this live. So if you're around, join me and okay, I think I'm live now. Hey, how's it going? If you're around, join me. I'm super pumped about this live. So join me. We are going to, going to be talking about how you can shift your business so that it is fueling positive social change, that it's in it's a vehicle for change, even if you're in that place where you're feeling a little bit nervous about speaking up. So what happens a lot of times for a lot of business owners, especially coaches who are, are in this, this business of helping other coaches grow their business, a lot of times it feels really easy to talk about all the things, like how to write a marketing post, how to create an email campaign, how to do Facebook ads, how to do funnels, all these things are very safe topics because it's all very much outside of you. It's all strategy, which is great. We definitely need strategy and I'm a big advocate for structure. Yet, there comes a time when once you've gotten your business running and you have your strategy and it's working well for you, you'll notice, and a lot of my clients are in this place, you get to this point where you want more. It's more than just that next strategy or that next zero or the next client, you're really craving, hey there, how's it going? I think that is Jason. If I can, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> it's hard for me to see. Um, so what happens is you start to notice that you wanna be talking about something else. Like you're, you're just kind of bored with talking about the same old things. And if you notice, if you are a coach as well, and you no look at any other coaches marketing, it's all the same. All the coaches are talking about the same thing about how to make more money, how to grow your business, how to raise your fees. And it just gets old, it gets boring. There's more than just money. Of course, we all know this, but often we get caught up in this. Hey, Steve. <laughs> Uh, we get caught up in the dominant narrative, which the dominant narrative in especially Western societies, in particular the U.S., is all about our identities being attached to our achievements, to our accomplishments, to our finances, to our bank account, all of the stuff that's outside of us. And it's not true. And it's it's we're at the point, hopefully a lot of us, where we're challenging that narrative and knowing that our identity comes from something much deeper than that. And when we shift that and start to operate how you do your business, how you do your career from that place of purpose, then you do want to talk about something else. You don't want to talk about just making more money, growing your business, finding the next strategy. You want to talk about really, you know, what's happening in the world and how all of us have the capacity and the ability to be a part of making changes for good. But a lot of times, a lot of coaches kind of stray away from that because it makes them nervous because they might lose clients or lose community members, whatever it might be. But really, what your clients and community want, the clients and community that are really aligned with you, they want you to take a stand. They want to know what you stand for, what you believe, and that you're willing to call out whatever the crazy craziness that you see is and call out the vision for how you see what is possible for the world. And how what happens a lot of times, and this is the work I do with my clients, is we you might have this, oh yes, I, I, I wanna talk about this. It's, it's really bothering me and it's really important, but I don't really know what to say and, I'm, and it's not really what, I, you know, what I've been talking about and it makes me kind of nervous. And so then you talk yourself out of it and then you beat yourself up for talking yourself out of it. And then you perpetuate the cycle of self-sabotage. So then what happens is, if you haven't heard this before, there's this triangle, <laughs> triangle of drama. <laughs> and the triangle of drama is there's a perpetrator or villain, there's a hero, and there's a victim. And a lot of times what happens for individuals is we end up playing all of those roles for ourselves that we beat ourselves up, so we're the villain. We feel bad for not doing more and feel like some, something is preventing us from moving forward, so we play the victim. And then oftentimes we forget that we also are the hero. And we, what happens a lot of times is you stay in that cycle of victim, bully, victim, bully. You bully yourself, you feel like a victim, you don't move forward. When in reality, all you need to do, and this is the work I do with my clients, and it's, it's easy, it's not simple, is to step out of that drama triangle 
and to see there you are the hero you're on this journey and the reason you are in the situation that you're in is to learn this specific process this challenge that you're in to overcome it to then share with others when you notice others are in that same cycle and so really when you're in that cycle of self-sabotage it's an opportunity to celebrate and to say great <laughs> there's something else here that is an opportunity for me to overcome and to work through so that I don't have to do this anymore. And when you step out of the cycle, what also happens is you stop seeing, you start seeing in others where they're playing the victim and where they're playing the villain. And you see a lot of people looking outside of themselves for the hero. And I see this a lot in the coaching world is that a lot of coaches start to see or seek, pardon me, you start to seek the hero from other coaches. They start to seek that or think that someone else has the right strategy, someone else is gonna save them. And really the shift that needs to happen, and this is work I do in my, my transformational, I call it the evoke process. It's five steps that we go through and very specifically with each client, where you see really what is what is the driver here? You know, what is really driving this behavior of beating yourself up, of feeling like you're a victim. And then staying in that cycle of being afraid to really express your pr true purpose, your true genius, and call out what it is that you see in the world that needs to be called out and that you're the only person to call out. And when you do that and you step outside, then you do see how so many people are playing the victim and playing the villain and looking for a hero. And then you start to see that you can stand up for calling that out because what happens is when you do the work to heal, to transform, and you notice other people in that same place, that's where your internal strength comes to be able to have these more challenging conversations or to talk about things that many people are afraid to talk about. And you do it not from a place of being judgmental or trying to be incendi incendiary, you're doing it from a place of, this is what I know is possible. When, for example, you get out of this, this drama triangle and stop playing the victim, you see you're not broken, you don't need fixing, no one can save you but you. And, you know, I also believe, you know, in a higher power that has, you know, is aligned with us, that is helping us overcome the things that we are here to overcome. But what you can start to see is then those are the things that you can feel confident in taking a stand for and against that, and that makes, it where you stop to feel afraid to call out the crazy. Like you see, you know, even when it comes to like policies, you know, government policies and different topics that are happening, you know, all of the stuff that's happening in the US, there's all these riots, all these protests, there's so much victim mentality in that, that someone's against us and we have to fight against them. And then, but we also need them to pay us because we don't have the power to do it ourselves. And so, <laughs> you start to see it everywhere. And that's when you start to feel the strength to call it out because you know how damaging it is and you know the power of each individual taking full responsibility for everything in their life. And that everything, whether it's a challenge or an obstacle, whatever it might be, they have the power to overcome it. And that is actually their path, is overcoming it. And that is how they grow and become the highest, even, you know, growing more and more, we're never done growing, growing more into the highest version of themselves through time. And that is their process of living their purpose and being able to express their genius in different ways. So that's where that internal strength and security comes from to be able to talk about things that are really uncomfortable because there's so many people right now that are so afraid to speak up. There's just all these like name calling going around versus really a desire to listen, a, a desire to have dialogue, a desire to find, you know, research from different places and to really share in a way that is just offering an invitation to a new insight, an invitation to a new perspective, an opportunity to, to change perspective and perception of how you see yourself, how others see themselves, of how we see the situation of what's happening in the U.S. And once we do that, we relieve ourselves of that burden of being afraid because it's, it's coming from a place of truth, of love, of not of power over or judgment or any, or criticism, any of that stuff. 
And then of course it's more received when it's coming from that place. So being able to, again, feel like it's safe for you to speak up and it's necessary for you to speak up because so many people are quiet and not talking about really what needs to be happening and, and how do we make changes and what do those changes look like and what's not been working and why do we keep doing the things that aren't working and, in, and what are the, some of the solutions that you see that are possible. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and I will be talking more about this because I'm super passionate. I've just been doing tons of research. I have been on this path for many, many years and studied extensively victim mentality and, you know, codependency and all these things that keep people stuck in a cycle of feeling like they don't have the power to change their lives. And it's not true. We all have the power at any time to change our beliefs, to change our thinking. And that is what drives our feelings and our feelings are what drive our actions. And it's possible at any time to make those changes. And that's why I'm super passionate about this. I'm passionate about how words really are our, our most powerful tools for transformation. The stories that we tell ourselves, the stories that our parents told us, like the media is telling us, how those impact us and how oftentimes we unfortunately integrate those and make them true when a lot of times they're not true. And so it's taking, switching it and taking your power back and seeing you can change your story anytime. You can change your thoughts. You can start telling yourself things that, that are supportive of your growth instead of keeping you stuck and using writing and stories and the spoken word to really power your change is something that I'm super passionate about because I, I have seen it in my own life. I've seen it in life of my clients that really writing is one of the most, in words, and one of the most powerful tools to really affect change. I mean, that's where all our change comes from, right? They come from ideas. So if you are in that place where you are just ready to just, just change, you know, how you're doing your life, how you're doing your business, how you're doing relationships and, and you want to be having different conversations. You want to be really leading change, but you're not quite sure how, and it kind of makes you a little bit nervous still reach out to me. I would love to talk to you about how we can work together and how really working with me and my process is guiding you to your genius, to live your highest expression and to feel just this ease and confidence about who you are and what you're here to do. And, and what you're here to do is, is really to change the world and only you can do it in the way that you are meant to do it. So we need you. So let me know your thoughts. If you catch us on the replay, let me know. Thanks for being here, Steve. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye.